Hi, I'm Steve from Sounds Heavenly, and I'd like to welcome you to Bang & Olufsen of Nottingham with Alfie. My name's Alfie, and I'm here at Bang & Olufsen in Nottingham. If this is your first time considering a smart speaker, or if you're looking at getting a gift for someone close to you, and you don't know where to start, this video is for you. We're going to give you a beginner's guide to the best high-end smart speakers on the market. And then at the end, we're going to give you a one-size-fits-all, an option the way you cannot go wrong. So regardless of what you want to use your speakers for, come and join us and I think we'll have an answer for you. So we've got a range of speakers here, starting from just over £600 up to uh, under £5,000. And I think it's probably worth saying everything that we're going to cover today is it's on B&O's new software, so it's called Mozart. Mozart, correct, yeah. So let's see, I'll probably get this wrong, but it will do a Bluetooth 5, AirPlay 2, Chromecast, yep. Spotify Connect, yep. Tidal and Deezer. Tidal Connect, Deezer, yeah. Yep. And so you've also got B&O Radio in the B&O app, so you've basically got internet radio yep. stations and also B&O Multiroom. So if you add more speakers around the house at a later date, you can share your music across. Across any house. of these speakers, yep, yep, correct, yeah. So they can all be stereo paired and work in a traditional left and right with two of them, um, all used on their own. But my feeling is that there are some of these speakers that work best in stereo and some of them that give their best when they're used as a single speaker. The one thing I didn't mention about that all of these speakers have got that for me is a game changer and it's why I haven't put any, suggested any other brands of products here is that these all have active room compensation. Yeah, so, room sense, yes. Yeah, so what they do is they'll play a tone that's like a submarine sonar um, and they listen with microphones to the response and what they will do is measure your room acoustically, work out where the echoes are, how big it is, how far the walls are away and use that to map the sound. So you don't ever get booming bass or treble that's shrieky, everything is balanced. Perfectly. Yeah, the sound is really tailored to your room and it will detect any, any reflections of sound and it will cut that all out so it's always a linear, linear listening, so mm. it's, it's awesome. Should we start with the, the lowest price yeah. point and we'll talk through what those speakers will do and where they're, where they're best suited? Yeah, so the lowest price that comes in at the Emerge uh, and this is a very unique speaker because as you can see the profile of it is almost like a book and that's kind of the intention. Mm -hmm. uh, they're a bookshelf speaker yeah. so you can tuck them away and they don't have to be seen and they will slide in between your books or pose as bookends. So in a quiet room, maybe a reading room or just a room where you listen to music after the kids have gone to bed, yes. the yeah. low level tones are absolutely phenomenal in comparison to any other speaker. Uh, the mm -hmm. low level, it really takes the cake. Yeah. Um, so yeah, for that for that late night quiet sort of uh, sort of li uh, listening experience, these are the best to yeah. go for. I mean, I absolutely love these. If you're a regular on the channel, you know I use a stereo pair of Emerges in my bedroom for ex exactly the reason you exactly. described. Quiet music if I'm reading a book after the kids have gone to bed, and at low volume, say below about 70 decibels, they have such a sweet, clear tone that. I've not found any other speaker, not just no other B&O speaker, but no other speaker that matches them for the music clarity. So from just over £600 each, yep. I think you can use a single one. I would stereo pair two of them and they are a joy to use. Yeah. So as we move up the range from the Emerge, um, we come to the A5. So yep. we'll cover more about this one later, I think, without dropping too many hints as to where mm -hmm. we're going. But this is brand new in the range, isn't it? It's brand new. So our latest speaker just came out last month in 2023. And uh, yeah, there's a lot to talk about on that one. There sure. is, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's another one that I would personally say it's, it's great on its own, but it really comes to life when you stereo pair two of them. Yeah. So from 899 for one speaker, that's... Uh, that's the next step up in price. And that is a, that's great if you aren't really sure how you're going to make use of it. 
flexible and portable with a battery built in, as is the next one up, be a sound level. So we're looking at um, 1199, aren't we, on this one? Yeah, 1199 for an entry level beer sound level. And what's amazing about this is it is by itself a stereo pair configuration. So the yep. speakers are lined, you've got a left and a right. Uh, the speaker is portable, it's got a built in battery, so it holds charge, mm -hmm. you can take it anywhere. Uh, it's more of a garden speaker or a, a kitchen speaker again, uh, just yep. due to its portability, and that's mm -hmm. where customers generally like to put them um, and it can be hung on the wall so when you would hang it on the wall you get a bracket like that and then it fits yep. on the wall like that gravity sensors change the left and right channels to now vertically mm -hmm. posed yep. so that's a, a cool feature you can have it flat on its back as well as standing up like this or on the wall yes and i think that's a great choice if you're short on space because yep. the fact it can hang on the wall and then on the times you need to move it somewhere else you literally unhook it lay it flat on a table in the garden, for example, or in the kitchen, or stand it up as we've got it here as a picture frame. Exactly. And it, yeah, but it takes up no spare space in the meantime. Yeah, slim profile, nice and compact, exactly like you say. Yeah. Moving up the range, I think at this stage, I'm gonna sidestep the Beer Sound Balance, which is slightly cheaper, and go to the Beer Sound 2. So this is from 2649, if I've got that right. and. In my mind, this is the quintessential kitchen speaker. It's a point source speaker. So with this um, acoustic lens for the treble, it fans sound out 360 degrees. So wherever you place it, in a big busy room as people move about, you've always got perfect sound. Yeah, no matter what angle, it will always get to your ears at the perfect, uh, perfect frequency. And that will be the same for everyone in the room, no matter where you're standing around the speaker. Uh, I always say to my customers that this is more of a kitchen speaker mm -hmm. just because that, that's the way they feel as well. Yeah. Uh, and like you say, Steve, this is, uh, it's an industrial look. It's got more of a robust look to it because of the, the washed aluminium. Uh, and it, yeah, it is just a perfect mm -hmm. uh, kitchen speaker. And I agree. Yeah. yeah. But then that brings us to the slightly cheaper beer sound balance. So two, three, nine, nine each. The reason I, I suggest we put these after the beer sound too is that these really come to life when you stereo pair them they i yeah. think they are absolutely made to be together they if you're into traditional high-end hi-fi like i've been for decades this is an absolute breath of fresh air because this gives you a sound that almost no traditional hi-fi system can give you in stereo from just the speakers yeah with features and and capabilities that blew my mind when I first heard them. So where the bass depth and quality you get from these is absolutely incredible. You, you just have to hear it to believe it. They have 360 sound. So again, yeah. like the beer sound too, detail from all around the room. And when you have got them in a stereo pair, again, you can have them as 360 sound if you're having a party and you've got loads of people in the room. Or alternatively, if it's just you listening and you want to listen to that, your favorite album, you can sit in your sweet spot and have it directly to your ears with the wide and narrow beam width control that it's mm -hmm. got. Um, and yeah, it's just a fantastic speaker for your really traditional audio file that likes the stereo pair. Uh, you can't go wrong with the balances yeah. for sure. Right, so we've moved from the table because um, we've got something a little bit bigger here, haven't we? Just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> now, I love the A9. This is its fifth generation now, mm -hmm. isn't it? And yep. so it's been brought bang up to date. This is, the, this is the speaker where if you've got a restaurant or an art gallery or just a large entertaining space and you like having a big crowd of friends around for social events, this is the one. It's a, it's a stereo speaker in one, isn't it? They, yep. the, the power is incredible. It will fill a hall with easily with the beautiful sound you can hang it on the wall and price wise where, where are we price at wise we're about 3100 for this yeah. one yeah yeah so they're they're pretty affordable in my opinion for mm -hmm. what you get yeah uh, because this is again it's outstanding speaker for sound quality the stereo uh, aspect of it is second to none yeah. uh, and also the aesthetic of it I mean yes. you've got three oak legs that it comes on 
you can put it in the corner of a room or you can put it in amongst your furniture and it's almost like a reconstructed chair or reconstructed mm -hmm. piece of furniture, really high quality. Uh, and, and it's just a beautiful uh, eyepiece to have in a room as well as functional, amazing sound. So yeah. it's really impressive for, yeah. for that aspect, yeah. I love the fact that the cover can be changed within a few minutes. A little bit of a challenge the first time you do it, but we'll yeah. soon get used to it. And you, <laughs> You'll there figure are, it yeah, out. B&O have a huge range of different colours and there are also separate companies who make their own yeah. or let, even let you make your own custom covers. So yeah. if you're having a party or an event or you've got a corporate uh, space that you're using, you can dress this for the time of the year, yeah. for the event. You can really have anything you yeah. want on it. Yeah. So it's... It's the perfect entertaining speaker, I think, in both sound and looks. 100%, yeah. yeah. Now, we did mention at the start that if you're not quite sure how you or the, um, the special person who you're gifting a speaker for is going to use it day to day, there is a, I suppose in Lord of the Rings terminology, there is a one ring to rule them all. There is an option where you cannot go wrong. And that is the Beer Sound A5. Beer Sound A5. Brand new, 2023, just released last month from Bang & Olufsen. And this is your all-round, absolutely phenomenal speaker. It's lightweight, it's uh, beautiful materials, got wood finishes on the top, wireless charging for your phone and a uh, lovely weave. Comes in two different colours, you can get a dark wood version or this version. Uh, the sound is absolutely phenomenal compared to any other speaker on the market. Mm -hmm. From such a small speaker with a small compact profile like this, and it's portable, can hold charge, it's got a battery of its own, the sound is unmatched. Yeah. And you have these in a the stereo pair. Oh, then they're incredible. It's, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's unbelievable yeah. to be honest. You have to hear it to, yeah. to believe it. To give you a, just a rough comparison, purely in terms of sound quality, um, in my own personal view, one A5 beats two emerges. Mm -hmm. An A5 beats the level, which is about 200, 300 pounds more expensive. This is my opinion. It almost matches the Beer Sound 2 for sound quality. And when you stereo pair them, two A5s, I believe, are not far off the sound of the balance. And that's, this is an incredible speaker. So when you think this is a portable speaker, you could take to a garden on holiday with you, you, could, you can move it around the house on a whim, but when you put two of them together, you have got proper high-end audiophile sound, which yes, that is possible from a smart speaker. The technology has moved on so far and so fast that, I mean, I grew up in the 70s and 80s with big wooden boxes of speakers, racks of amplifiers and this outpaces them, this really does. When you put them side by side for sound, you'll struggle to find anything that will match that, certainly for that sort of money. Correct, yep. So I hope that's been helpful. Thank you, Alfie, and I hope you'll join me in welcoming him to the channel. There's gonna be some video links appearing on screen now. Just here will be my review of the A5 in detail, and then below it here, will be a playlist of some recent smart speaker reviews. Please come on down to b &O Nottingham. Come and have a chat with Alfie and listen to the speakers. Yeah, come down and we'll be happy to take you through anything that you want to hear. Thank you for watching.